Well, unfortunately, we're talking about another day of record breaking numbers of hospital patients across Georgia with the virus. Right now, staff are caring for more than 6,000 COVID-19 patients. As Paula Soro explains, these numbers are forcing hospitals to make some really tough decisions when it comes to caring for other patients. They put me in a hallway bed for hours. There was just not enough people to get to me. A hospital bed. That's where Jessica Jewett spends her time when she's not at home. Since the pandemic started, she's been in and out of the hospital at least four times. It's so much worse from November to now. If I get sick, I won't recover from COVID. I, I will be a statistic. I've missed out on a lot. As a quadriplegic, she can have medical complications that require immediate attention, but the rise in COVID-19 hospital patients is making immediate care harder. When your surgery is a life or death thing, you can't afford for delays to happen. So I wasn't even there with COVID, but COVID was affecting what was happening to me. Right now, 97% of all ICU beds in Georgia are in use. The Northeast Georgia Medical Center says all its hospitals have been full for weeks, but it's adding beds to meet the current high demand. In turn, waits are longer, patients are being treated in hallways and also ambulances. I'm afraid that uh, one day there just won't be a bed for me. I was getting shuffled from floor to floor in my recovery because there were not enough beds. They were just kind of putting people where they could. Even without beds, you'll be seen, according to Piedmont Healthcare. A spokesperson explains hospitals follow a federal law known as the Emergency Medical Treatment and Labor Act, which prohibits hospitals with emergency departments from refusing to examine or treat individuals with an emergency medical condition. The law states that if necessary, a patient can be transferred to another medical facility. We're not going to have good quality nurses and doctors anymore because they're going to get so burnt out and they're literally dying to try to save us. 